I'm Rizzy from WTH Foods. So we will be cooking ginisang corned beef with sayote. Remember, these recipes are all very quick recipes and the key to fast cooking is preparing your ingredients beforehand. So what you will be needing for this dish is, of course, sayote, garlic, sliced onion and tomatoes, fish sauce, that's vegan, salt, pepper, cooking oil, toasted garlic for garnish and water, and of course, our WTH corned beef that's made from jackfruit. So we have our oil heating at medium high. Once that's hot, we can add in our garlic, minced garlic. I just used um, half a garlic. Ah, smells good. The more garlic, the better. Okay, so let's just wait for that to brown a little bit. Then we can add our sayote. Okay, I think that's slightly browned. Now we can add in our sayote. I used half a sayote. It's a big sayote, so I just used half. But if it's a small one, you can use the whole sayote. Okay, so we're just gonna let this cook for three to five minutes until it softens a little bit. So the usual thing that you pair with corned beef is potatoes, right? But I find that sayote is even more enjoyable because you find this certain crunchiness and juiciness that you won't find in potato. But if you don't have sayote or it's not in season, you can always use upo as an alternative. That's also good. Okay, so now we can add our onion and tomato. And we're just gonna let this cook for a few seconds before we add in our WTH corned beef. So perk of our packaging is that it's resealable. So if you don't need to use the whole pack, you can just seal it and put it back in the freezer. This helps keep the freshness of the product longer. I like this feature because the usual packaging of other products, you have to find like a microwavable container or an empty ice cream tub just to store it properly. So that's really useful. Okay, now we can add our water. and our fish sauce which is around um two tablespoons not a lot then mix mix and let it come to a boil now let's taste very important in cooking taste what you're cooking so you know how to adjust it Okay, then you can season with salt and pepper as needed. A little salt and pepper. Okay. Turn off the heat. And plate this. Then final touch, garnish with toasted garlic. And that's a lovely way to start your day.